Hello, yes, if Kensington falls, Tubrook and Old Swan will follow. That's right. Kensington, as I speak, is fighting for its very survival, its very existence. It's being flooded with hordes of third world immigrants that have destroyed a once proud white working class community. It is now beyond recognition. So if Kensington falls, then Tubrook and Old Swan will follow. And I'll tell you why. I've been driving in and around Kensington, Smithdown Road, Old Swan, Tubrook. And you can see the third world creeping down Prescott Road towards Old Swan. And the same can be said for Tubrook. The third world is creeping along Shield Road, turn right onto West Derby Road and down towards Tubrook. And those that live in those communities will tell you so. So it's essential the fight to save Kensington not only continues but intensifies. I've got a new leaflet coming out soon. I, I'm hoping to have, uh, have it out in a few weeks' time um, to bring my message to the people of Kensington and Fairfield and let them know that there's someone standing up for them. When I say Kensington and I leave Fairfield out, it's not because I'm being unfair to the residents of Fairfield. It's just quicker to say so. Please forgive me if you think I'm leaving it out. I'm not. So uh, it's essential now that the fight not only continues but intensifies. Also, what's very telling and tragic about all this is the so-called socialists, champions of the working class, are silent regarding what's happening to the white working class of Kensington. Where's Derek Hatton? Ricky Tomlinson? Uh, Joe Anderson, the three Labour councillors for Kensington and Fairfield? Peter Hooten? And while I'm at it, John Bishop, you were on the line up for... Uh, concerts for refugees. How about a concert for the forgotten and beleaguered white working class of Kensington? Oh, no chance. So the fight must continue now and it's going to, right? We've got to because if Kensington falls, Tubrook and Old Swan will follow. Also, those responsible for inflicting this misery and nightmare upon the good people of Kensington need putting in jail. Whether or not that's central government, the Tories, or those that have remained silent and complicit in this and said nothing. Joe Anderson, Labour Mayor, and the three Labour councillors supposedly elected to represent the people of that community. You lot need putting in jail and the sooner the better. OK, thank you.